Hey, what's good? It's the Mouth of the South. And before I start up this video, do a quick little favor for me. Click that subscribe button and hit the bell too so you can be notified when I drop a new video. But yeah, now to the matter at hand. Well, Zan is the Gotti, aka the Mouth of the South, and I'm here to talk about Roddy White. So, when Roddy White was drafted, he told the Falcons brass that he is going to be the best receiver in that franchise's history. And, and because he made that an actuality between 2005 to 2015, that's the reason he's going to be the 11th member added into the Falcons' ring of honor. Now, I understand that a guy named Julio Jones came around later, but we're here to talk about when Roddy White was playing, he became the franchise's best receiver, the most storied. He played with Vic, he played with Ryan, and he played that gap in between. And the most impressive thing about looking at his stats is the fact that he actually had his explosive year, the year in between. 1,200 yards, that was the first time he went for 1,000, and he didn't stop for the next five years, with five of those being over 1,200 again. So yeah, he didn't play that good with, with Mike, but he played good afterwards and with Matt. He has the most receptions, the most touchdowns, and the most yards in Falcons history from a receiver. He is storied. He is, well, the second best at this point, the second best receiver in Falcons history. And that's why he's deserving of a position. Hey, we done? Like, we're done, I, all right, all right, all right, I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna start off and be for real this time. <laughs> all right. What's that, it's D. Gotti, AKA the Mouth of the South, and I'm here to talk about Roddy White. I hate Roddy White. If we're gonna be honest, I can't stand him. Like, to me, all those statistics that you just heard me say, I had to look up, because to me, when I think of Roddy White, I think of an idiot who don't know how to shut his mouth. 2010, he tweeted out that we only got a Super Bowl because of Katrina. Then he had three catches for 43 yards in that game, and I lost. <laughs> then, he, he tweeted, then he tweeted out again in 2012 that he hates the city of New Orleans, hates the colors, and hates the team, but he likes the food, and he lost that game too. I never understood Roddy White. In his time of 2005 to 2015, he was a grand total of 7 and 15 against the Saints. You would have thought it was vice versa. You would have thought he was whooping us up. This is crazy to me. And I apologize to my Saints fans who had to sit there and listen to me say actual good things about the guy. I ain't going to lie. My question for my Saints fans, who, who is the player that you hated the most of your whole time watching football? For me, it's Roddy White. There's no person I hated more. Now, I know y'all probably thought I was going to give him his credit like I did Steve Smith. No, I respect Steve Smith. Link in the bio. Quick little drop for you. Yeah, that's why I did that. Because I respect him, and he deserved all his accolades. Essentially the same pedestal when it comes to teams, but I have nothing but disrespect for Roddy White. I, I could live my life and never hear about Roddy White again. I hate this guy. So that's Roddy White from a Saints perspective, and that's Roddy White with who he really is. But y'all know the drill. Now, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. It's been point blank, period. Roddy White.